Are you ready for the return of Christ for his bride? We are living almost 77 years into the biblically prophesied end days and could possibly be within seconds of the return of Jesus for all who have placed their faith in his work on the cross for the forgiveness of their sin and for salvation. We could be literally moments away from the start of the seven-year, 2,520-day tribulation prophesied in Revelation chapters 6 through 19 when God pours out His undiluted wrath upon an unbelieving world. Yes, He promised never to destroy all of mankind again, never to flood the earth again, but He did not say that He would never judge the world again. In fact, he forewarned us in the book of Revelation that judgment would come in the end days. Those end days began on May 14, 1948, when Israel was reestablished as a nation in a single day, exactly as prophesied throughout the Old Testament. Are you ready for the return of Christ? Have you placed your faith for the forgiveness of your sin and for salvation in the work of Jesus on the cross? Those who have done so will be taken, will be removed from the earth in the twinkling of an eye and taken to the Father's house exactly as Jesus promised us he would do in John 14. He said, Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive you unto myself, that where I am, you may be also. This prophetic removal of the body of Christ, the bride of Christ, the church, Those who have placed their faith in Christ, again, for the forgiveness of their sin and for salvation, is at the door. We can see the prophetic tribulation from Revelation coming towards the world like a freight drain. It is currently casting a long, dark shadow over the globe as we can see world war, global governance, global currency, worldwide famine, inflation, martyrdom of Christians, pestilences, etc. at the door. And none of these prophetic events that we can see, again, casting a shadow over us now, can begin their fulfillment until the church of Jesus Christ is removed. I want to make it clear who I mean when I say the church of Jesus. It is those and only those who have placed their faith in the work of Christ alone for the forgiveness of their sin and for salvation because the word of God tells us that it is by grace that we are saved through faith and that not of ourselves, but it is a gift of God and not by works lest any should boast. Have you placed your faith in the work of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sin and for salvation? If you haven't, I plead with you to do so now. And for the many who will see this and will ignore the warnings from the Word of God and the warning that I am giving you, I also want you to know, although I do not recommend it, that you can still be saved after the rapture of the church. Again, I do not recommend waiting. I plead with you to give your life to Jesus now, to place your faith in him today. But you need to know that you can still be saved afterward, although you will then most likely lose your life for doing so. It is my personal opinion that most likely millions will turn to Jesus within the first 24 hours after the rapture occurs as they realize that Bible prophecy was real, that God says what he means and means what he says. And when he gives us warnings 
we need to heed those warnings. So again, please, if you do not yet know Christ, place your faith in His work on the cross. He died on that cross for your sin and mine so that we could be forgiven and cleansed and gifted eternal life. Please, place your faith in His work on your behalf today. Please don't wait.